Hello and welcome to a short video on how to swing doors. I'm Nathan from Any Joinery. I'm going to flip the camera around in a second and show you how I go about swinging these six panel internal molded doors. So the first thing we need to do is establish which side of the door our hinge wants to be placed. So the hinge or the knuckles of the hinge, which I'll show you in a second, need to be on the same side that you wish for the door to open into. Once you've got that, you come six inches down from the top, put an X, nine inches up from the bottom and put another X. The side of the door you've got and you've marked out where your hinges are gonna be placed, you can then get your hinge. This is a three inch butt hinge, bearing assisted to allow for ease of movement. So you line that up with your mark, draw around it. You can then get your marking gauge Set that so it's slightly inside your pencil mark, run it down the door, stand your knife to finish off top and bottom, or you can use a chisel, whichever you prefer. This is what you should be left with. Once you've done that, you can then either, the traditional way is to get a chisel and flake these out and tidy it up, or you can use a palm router, which is what I've got here. This is the Makita DRT50 brushless palm router I'll show you how I'm going to set this up in a second okay so now the router has been turned upside down obviously you can see the base plate here I'll sit my hinge onto the base plate to ensure the top of the blade is flush with the hinge if it needs to come down obviously you've got the adjustment on the side here so we'll give it one pass through the door if we need to take it down any we can just unlock this uh, latch here turn this lever and it'll make its way down these little indents. Got the router is done, you can see it leaves a nice smooth finish. Again, you can do this with a chisel, it's a more traditional way, but once you've got the experience and you need the speed there, palm router is definitely the way to go you'll notice these little nips in the corner all you need to do again you can tidy that up with a knife or a chisel that will just flake out but we've bought one of these trend routering technology corner chisels so basically you sit that into the corner give it a metal peg a little tap and that'll tidy that edge up once we've been tidied up we can get our hinge sit that in place we'll pre-drill these screw holes and get that fixed in and there you have it nice and flush tight on all corners moves nice and freely we do the same on this end we've obviously pre-drilled those screws ready so we'll wind them in i see a lot of people using impactors there's no need for it you've got a screwdriver if you've pre-drilled them screw holes they should go in with these Okay, so because I built the frame to which these doors are going in, I know that the door legs are gonna be nice and level with an equal gap. So all I need to do is take approximately eight mil off the width of this door, just to allow uh, enough for passage from the other door. What I've got here is the DKP181 brushless planer by Makita. Uh, I'll quickly show you this in action uh, it works with these Makita by far my preferred brand of power tool but I'll quickly show how to how to do this
Okay, so once you've taken it down to the correct width, what you need to do then is put your plane on an angle. You can see the little arrow in the centre there, put it along the edge of the door to create this Yaris. Again, this helps with the leading edge. Also helps with the painting and decorating. If you've got a sharp corner, the paint tends to drip. So painters love that. Okay, so now that we've got the shape of the door to match the frame, what I like to do is use a hinge for my top margin. It gives them like equal gap all the way along. Once you've got that, obviously we use the wind bag to keep that in place. You've got your hinges, you just mark bottom, top, same for the bottom hinge. Once you've marked them, it's the same method as what you do on the door. So you score it along, down and return. Get the chisel, which I'll show you in a second, and notch away this. Preferably, the architrave won't be on and you can run the router in. Again, the same as what you do with the door. But because we've got the architrave on, we'll have to return to a traditional method of using hammer and chisel. This is what it looks like when you've used a chisel. You basically angle your chisel into the timber, give it a little knock and it creates this loop effect. You just bring your chisel up it and just tidy it all off. And there you go, once it's all been cleaned off, it's nice and flush, screw your hinge into the recess that you've made, either using the, the palm router or a chisel as shown in the previous parts of this video. Once all that's done now, what we can do is start fitting the handle. So for our handle, we're going to be using Jig Tech. These are quite expensive, but well worth the money. If you are going to purchase a Jig Tech, I also recommend purchasing their Jig Tech handle kit that goes with it. It comes with all these bits. As you can see, this has been well used. Um, but I'll go through each stage of how to fit this lock and handle assembly. So first of all, I've come up a metre on mine. Uh, it's just preferred handle height. Put a little mark there. We'll get the jig these little recesses line that up with your line inside there and just tighten this wing nut and that then gives you your bore hole and your latch hole inside here you'll see this one is for, is for your bore hole so that'll just go straight through there and again your latch straight in there. So now that we've got this drilled out, what we'll do now, it's got the handle, comes with this green box on it. So you put that inside. And as you can see, there's a housing inside there for your latch. So I'll just slide that in now so you can see that. So there you go, the latch is slidden into this green box. The top and the bottom holes are to allow for housing these screws there. So once that goes in, they'll slide straight through that those two little notches. And there you go. So now these have been screwed up, you get this little tool here which goes over the latch. Hit the end there with a hammer. That just sends this home so it's nice and flush all the way around. Now what we can do is get the excursion pad on here. So to mark out for my receiver, because these are double doors, it's easy enough to, to find the centre there, put a mark on. But if you haven't got a double door and you're doing it to a frame, um, the Jig Tech kit also comes with this gadget, which once you've cored out your, your hole here and here, that slides in, you close the door, you knock that into the frame and this pin um, marks the centre of your receiver. So. Handy little tool to have. Um, like I say, that this Jig Tech kit pays for itself in time. So if you, if you know if you've got a few doors to do, although the handles are quite expensive, you'll save it on the labour. So now that we've marked our receiver, uh, you get a spade bit in this kit, which is exactly the right size for this receiver housing. Um, I'll just show you this drill that I'm using. Drill driver. It is a Makita DHP four eight one. Um, the, you know, it's a beast in itself. So, this is what I've been using to core out for the handle and receiver plates. And there you 
you go again nice and flush flat nice little housing in there and that's that that's the finished product um tomorrow i'll get a door jointing strip on the other side of this again with it being double doors it doesn't work the same as if it causes into a frame it causes onto the jam so to get rid of that light when the light's on in that room we'll just add the the door jointing bar to that uh, also a little latch that goes up into the door door stop on the other side just to keep this door from opening when this one's being used so there you go that's a quick video on how to swing doors and also fix the handles and receiver plate if you've got any questions just drop a comment and i, I will get back to you uh, as always share like subscribe um, and keep posted